everybody and welcome to Mama Rush's um, Nixes. We are here today going to walk you through how to make our gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix. Super easy. Um, what you're going to need is obviously um, one of our chocolate chip cookie mix mixes as well as a third of a cup of shortening. You can use vegetable shortening or you can use palm shortening. I recommend palm shortening. I use organic palm shortening in everything that I um, bake. Um, as well as a tablespoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of agave, and then you're gonna need about three to five tablespoons of water. It's gonna kind of vary. Sometimes you need a little bit less, a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of warm up our um, shortening first. We're gonna take our third of a cup of our palm shortening, plop it in there. It's really just to warm it up. It really just helps to get it incorporated into the dry mix, I always just kind of scrape down my side. Um, I do recommend um, a sand mixer. It's a lot easier a lot easier with all of these mixes. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our two tablespoons of agave. So our chocolate chip cookie has a little bit of a different of a, of a flavor profile. We do use agave um, in it. Um, they're wonderful, but they don't taste necessarily like your traditional chocolate chip cookies. I have a lot of people say they like them better but everyone has different tasters, I say. So two tablespoons of agave, so just a different sweetener than usually, in re than usually using regular sugar. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just add our um, tablespoon of vanilla. Now I always use pure vanilla. You're welcome to use artificial vanilla if you need to. I think you get a much better flavor from the pure vanilla. So we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. Okay, incorporate it. So these chocolate chip cookies do not require eggs. This is actually a vegan recipe, okay? So um, it's completely allergen free. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our chocolate chip mix in. incorporate the shortening. After about 30 seconds or so, we're gonna stop and scrape down the sides. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape down the sides to make sure that we've got the shortening getting incorporated in with all of our dry mix. And then after we do this for about another 30 seconds, then we're gonna start adding our water in, okay? This just really ensures that everything is equally incorporated in the mix. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding our water. We're gonna start adding our water one tablespoon at a time. Just leave it on low and go slowly and be patient because it does take a while for it to get incorporated because if you put too much in, it'll be really soupy. So we call for three to five tablespoons, so it's safe to go ahead and put three tablespoons in initially, and then we'll see how much more we need from that point. Our goal is to get the dough, um, the cookie dough, to be um, like Play-Doh consistency, okay? Just so you know what you're looking for. So after I've added my five tablespoons of water, then I'm gonna turn um, the speed up a lot higher to make sure we get everything really mixed up really well. Okay. We've got our Play-Doh consistency here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our prepared cookie sheet and scoop our cookies on too. You can use either um, a nonstick pan or what I like to do is even if I have a nonstick pan, I use parchment paper because it just comes off, it keeps my pan clean, and the cookies come right off of it. So there's no issues. This here, um, I use a scoop and a half, or scoop and a half, an inch and a half scoop. Um, if you want to make smaller cookies, you can. This is just a standard cookie scoop that I used. At the bakery, it's gonna give you a cookie that's gonna be anywhere from a three to four inch diameter, so it's kind of a standard cookie size. But if you wanna do mini cookies, you can get the mini scoop. You can find the scoops anywhere, at Target, Walmart, Williams-Sonoma, um, to get your kitchen tools. So we're just gonna scoop it in there. If you want a bigger cookie, you can do a little bit more of a heaping scoop. I'm gonna scoop it right on here. We've already preheated our oven at 375. You're gonna cook these cookies anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes. It really depends on the size. So with the, me using the inch and a half scoop, we're gonna definitely cook these at 15 minutes, okay? One thing to keep in mind is when the cookies come out, they may not be perfectly flat, so they may have a little bit of a dome on them. 
So what you're gonna do is you just use your spatula and just press them down lightly to make them flat, okay? A lot of that also depends on the time of year that you're baking, water content, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the cookies, you just need to squish them down. All right, so we got our pan here. We're gonna throw these in the oven. As you can see here, here's our finished product with our chocolate chip cookies. Hope that helped to get you started um, with making our gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Thanks, have a good day.